Hi. In this video, I will talk about how to create workflow rules using a spreadsheet. Using a spreadsheet means alternative BBM, business process management. Currently or recently in Oracle release 13 and I think 12 and later, to create approval workflow rules in GL, for example, AB like this, fixed assets, instead of BBM, you have to use or implement your rules through a spreadsheet. In this video, I will talk about concepts. I will talk about actual business case for only GL. Maybe later we can discuss about fixed assets, AB. So what does it mean? What is the meaning of concepts? Because as you know that my business requirement in my organization, not your organization requirement. So once you got the concepts, you can apply these concepts depends on the requirement of your approval or in your organization. So let's start by First of all, if you now go to Oracle, set up and maintenance, go to work list through BBM work list and try to search for fine GL journal approval, either search here and try to click on assignee, you will find this message, not like before to put the conditions, to put the people, to put uh, operators, blah, blah, blah. Now you will go like this, you have to use manage workflow rules in a spreadsheet task to configure, either to implement as a first time or override like updates. So either update, for example, I already implemented, but after some time my organization's business requirement changes, so I need to update the exist one or this is the first time to create it or to implement it from scratch either this or this you have to go to workflow rules or manage workflow rules in a spreadsheet before create workflow rules through spreadsheets you must use excel version 2016 to create workflow rules as I told you before that every successful rule upload using a spreadsheet template overrides the existing rule for the workflow. Whatever you, every time you upload a new spreadsheet, it will be override whatever existing rules for the workflow. What else? Once you create rules using the rule template, Oracle recommend you and me that use spreadsheet method only for any future maintenance of rules so this is to take like considerations before going to create a workflow rules through spreadsheet what is the create workflow rules using a spreadsheet a simplified workflow rules configuration feature is a spreadsheet based alternative to create it through pbm business process management it allows you to enable to create rules of general ledger approval workflow using spreadsheets also for payable invoice approval, fixed assets workflow only until now these three modules GL, AP and FA. You can download the spreadsheet template from manage workflow rules. We can see it later in a spreadsheet to create and manage either you are going to create it as a first time or you are going to update or amendment the existing one. A business rule is approval requirement within your approval organization policy. So before defining a rule in the rule template, you must analyze approval policy in your organizations. This is before you start to implement anything and not only approval workflow rules, you have to collect the requirement. You have to ask some questions as a questionnaire to get what is the act or what is the actual business requirement to and after that how to apply or to meet that or to 
do it in Oracle as a ERB system or whatever the system is there. So before that, you have to ask some questions, sit with the business users, with the stakeholders to collect requirement and to analyze the requirements and to map it with the systems. Is it, is it applicable, not applicable? Is there any workaround? Is there any uh, custom solutions? Is there, is there any new integration? Blah, blah, blah. So consider these points before defining a business rule. Like some of questionnaire, some of questions, you have to go to the answers of these questions before to starting to define workflow business rules of approval. First of all, what is a transaction required? Approval, which transactions? If you're talking about in GL, is it manual patch? Is it from sub -leger? Is it whatever? If you are talking about EB, is it matched only to purchase order? Is it only credit memo, standard debit memo, blah, blah, blah. Who approves the transactions? Once I know the transaction type, and in our video here, it will be GL journals, who approves the transactions? Is it only one level, two level, approval group, parallel group, serial group, three levels, whatever. So who will approve the transactions? Do the approval very passed on the transaction attributes? Is there any uh, approvals will be based on the attributes if the total invoice amount is more than 1000 USD, it must go to CEO. If it's less than 1000 USD, it must go to, uh, for example, the supervisor, whatever. So you have to collect like this information. What are approval conditions? It is very, very important here because depends on the conditions, the approval will be work. Like, as I told you before, that if this invoice match to BO, it must go to approval. For this ledger, the approval will be auto approved, no approval required. For these specific users, it's no approval whatever the approval conditions in your organization. How do you want to route the approval notifications? Also, it depends on the requirement, depends on the policy or the approval policy in the organizations. Which approval required for your information notifications? If you need to send for your informations and for this, for your information after some time, it must be pop up or send it to the approvals whatever so like these questions and which transaction are exempted as i told you before that these transactions will go to auto approve direct without any approval rule you have to you can also add a lot of either questions uh, requirements but this is the main point you have to consider them before starting to configure the workflow approval of through spreadsheet either AB, GL or fixed assets create a workflow rules this is as summary that first you have to assign to application download the rule template spreadsheet from manage workflow spreadsheet define the workflow rules in the spreadsheet generate the rule file upload it and verify to define the workflow rules through a spreadsheet you have to define or sorry to download the template as a spreadsheet first after that you open the template and define your workflow rules generate the rule csv file upload it once you upload it the system will give you one of two results either error or fails or success if the upload fails the status is split as error you have to cl click on the error to download the error csv file review the errors resolve the errors and generate the rules file again and re-upload it again and verify again verify means one 
result is fails the second one is successful as we said before every successful rule upload using a spreadsheet template overrides the existing rule of or for the workflow so the verify means either fails or successful once it's successful you have to go to for example GL journal to start as a test to create a journal and start to check the status it's approval it's not approved it is sent it to the approvals it is whatever the conditions and set up you put it there if it fails the oracles give you the option to download it the csv file to review and resolve once you review the error like exceptions like error message whatever you can resolve the errors again with a new or in the same spreadsheet and regenerate it again and upload it and again verify until you got successful status so first of all once you download the spreadsheets there are a, a rule block so first we can sign in to oracle I log in and after that you can go to setup and maintenance once you go to setup and maintenance just write manage work flow or manage workflow rules in a spreadsheet just click on it you will find th our three modules assets transaction approval invoice approval in accounts payable journal approval here if you upload it before this is the latest or the last successful uploaded you can download it and check it what is the setup is there if it's first time you have to download it as standard template from oracle from here and start to implement and define your rules and come here again to upload it either you download this or this it depends on the status you are going to update the existing one or this is the first time to you to define workflow rules in a spreadsheet if it's the first time i am going to here to download it and it system will give you a lot of options as a template all of them have two sheets one sheet for instructions another sheet for to define your workflow rules so if I download journal approval basics, it gave me downloaded here. I just open the file to check it. Just I will remove the plug and the unplug and try to open the sheet. Here, as I told you, there are two sheets, one for instructions. You can read it or not, it depends. One for journal approval rules journal approval rules here you will find and you 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 have to define whatever you collect from requirement business organization requirements and to apply it here first of all i will talk about some of concepts here and after that i will give you actual business case to got a clear or more clearance of the picture or of the set first of all the rule block or the block name as you see here in my presentations a rule block is a group of a rule block is a group of rule in the workflow rules spreadsheet you can define a business rule and all aspects of the business rule in these rows in these rows means that you can add a lot of block for each block it's for specific business rules what does it mean let me open here for example in my business or my business case is 
for GL journal approval that I will have three levels of approvals what's the meaning of three level three levels means three roll block one add another one and add third one what does it mean that first of all that the submitter will submit the G for approval with your conditions that the ledger ID must be uh, XYZ the journal batch total debit must be more than 1000 the journal or the journal description must be EBC with your any conditions so once he submitted the approval of or so supervisor of the submitter of the journals must approve the journal once the supervisor approve I need send the notification of approvals to for example a group of people Uh, for example uh, four persons either barrel or serial or first responder so this is the second level so here roll block one here roll block two sorry rule after that I will send this as a rule block 3 send it to CEO as a person so the submitter or the creator of the GL journals will create it and submit it once it's submitted the oracle notifications will send the approval notifications to supervisor of this creator or submitter after the approval take action is reject approve rest or request for more informations it will send a notification the approval or the next level of the approvals will be a group of peoples three two four x peoples either you have to select is parallel serial first respond we will talk about the differences between parallel serial first respond later after that i will send it to the ceo as a specific person specific email user id whatever so for each of these rules i have to add the root block one you can add more and add so you can add a lot of blocks you can add only one you can add only two whatever you need so this is the root block so I just came here while all aspects defined with a root block are processed like this root block are processed in a sequence as I told you the first of one this is one sequence one sequence two sequence three root block one two three this is a sequence you must consider the sequence in which the rules should be proceed in my business organization I need to follow like this sequence of my approval in your organizations you may be no need for this once it's submitter and uh, got approval from the uh, supervisor of the submitter I don't need this to uh, block only I have one level I have four level so rule block four uh, this is uh, for example uh, CFO uh, after that CEO or CEO CFO so by the end the business requirement the policy approval in your organizations what else you can create additional rules as I told you add more 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 depends on the sequence of the rules enable rule block configurations you can configuration rule block improve decision making during the approval process 
it makes it easier to track the flow of approvals and identify any potential issues in the process important you must name the root blocks to use them in the configuration sheet here in our sheet this is what is the block name journal approval for example one if you add on a new one it will be the same two three and four and whatever and the rule description this is a description for each block rule name name the rule blocks you can assign names to the rules created for your approval rules and it also shows the purpose and function of each block you can make the name as for example this is submitter of approval uh, this is uh, parallel group or approval group uh, this is the third one is the uh, CEO or CFO or final level of approval whatever you need to define you can define and you can mention more of details in the rule description once you create rules using your rule templates again Oracle recommend you to use a spreadsheet method only for any future maintenance of rules as I told you here in our applications you can once you upload like this you can download it update it and again come here to upload and verify the status this is the status whatever is the success whatever is error you can download on the error check the review and the exceptions resolve it again upload it and check verify the status it must be successful what else journal approval rules as approval routing approval routing we have a lot of levels for each levels again it is as standard by oracles for example if i go to our sheet here and go to approval routing you will find a list of value what does it mean for example here supervisor hierarchy members of the supervisor hierarchy beginning from the first applicable approval receive approval notifications so this is depends on the supervisors of the employees which is defined in hrms module group in parallel members of an approval group receive approval notifications all members receive all notification at the same time what does it mean it means that all members must take an action on approval notification what is the third option group in serial group of receive approval notifications only when members take an action on the approval notification does the next member of the serial one he take action okay go to second go to third blah 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 group first responder it's also a member of approval group receive approval notifications all member receives at the same time only one member is required to take actions on the approval this is i have three of people in this approval group all of them receive the same notification in the same time if one of this group approve or reject the status of the journal will be either approval and go to the next step of the approve or rejected and again come back to the submitter or the creator of the gl but here serial first one must take action to go to serial two three four four five six and blah 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 for the parallel all of them will receive the same notification in the same time but all of them must take action now here all members must take an action what job level hierarchy member of the job hierarchy job hierarchy defined where in hrms what is the users Specify specified application user as i show you before and i will show it later that in my business scenario here the root block 3 will go to the specific user uh, Michelle for example so this approval once the submitter supervisor take approval it will send a group a pr approval group either parallel serial or first responder after that the final level of the approval will be Mr. Michelle Mr. Michelle take approve the journal status will be approved if it's he take reject or take the action as a reject the status of the journal will be rejected 
rule the users with the specified application rule receive the block here uh, to log into the oracle you you have specific rules so you can custom rules and put these rules in the conditions so whatever persons with these rules he will receive a notification of approval to take the action the action approve or reject or request more information or he can delegate what else auto approve auto approve that i as i said before some of transactions no need for approval no need for approval here in oracle it means auto approve for example in this ledger once the user create a journal in this specific ledger the system will take approval directly without any levels or rule blocks for this ledger auto reject the vice versa of auto approve these transactions for this specific AB invoice transaction type for this specific journal ledger for this specific journal batch for this amount blah 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 whatever the condition is there it will be rejected automatically for your information this is only sent for your information notification no action required because it's just for your information skip approval transaction for which the rule isn't applicable no notification are sent for this skip approval so again this is the list of our approval routing are you going to supervisor are you going to serial parallel user to approve blah 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 what's the approval level one two three four this is just for a sequence what is the start approval start approval it's changed from organization to organization some of organization said that the manager of journal creator this is the first approval who creates the journal muhammad salah so the manager of muhammad salah must take action for this another they said no muhammad salah will create the journal but michelle will submit so the system must take approval of the manager of michelle Michel means the sub submitter of the journal. Again, this is list of values depends on your requirement. And also take care of this start approval because some of, some of times I create I here select a creator and I create the journals and some another person or another colleague in my team or in a different team he submit the journals. After that, he asks you why this journal is not went or not send a notification to his manager because I create here the creator. Again, also for the submitter. If I select the submitter and I create it, but my colleague submit the journals. So it will went to the my colleague manager. So you have also to check what is the start approval. Is it the submitter, the manager of the journal submitter or manager of journal creator top approval this is the last approvals it's a person it just uh, notify or send a notification for him that these journals got final approval this journal got uh, rejected this journal stuck blah 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 as uh, as like for your information here's a group if you need to mention a group group username rule you have to define the approval group in bbm once you define the approval group there you have come to here to mention the approval group here what is the rule priority let's you have to medium highest higher high this is the priority of the rules which the system will consider it as a first this is medium this is high another line for high another uh, line for low if you have a lot of approvals here for each line or for each uh, row you have a specific condition let's come back to our slides here this is the routing you can only use approval group that exists in the bbm as i told you here if you need to mention approval group you have to define it first in bbm it must be exist in bbm 
there are a rule priority specify the order in which rules are evaluated within a particular block during evaluation of the rule set administrators can define the priority in simplified workflow rules configurations by default the rule priority is set as a medium for all rules you can change rule priority by selecting a different value as i show you here higher highest high low lower lowest approval conditions in the approval conditions you can select the attributes based on which the transaction should be evaluated for the workflow rules you can also add attributes category operators are in case sensitive however you must enter the date in dd slash mmm slash yyyy or dd dash mmm dash yyy format only approval conditions here for example you have in gl journal batch journal header journal line your condition in which area of this journal batch created by total accounted debit credit descriptive batch name whatever the approval you have accounting period name calendar balance type whatever you have on the journal batch also as a dff attribute 10 blah 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 so the conditions started from here or your condition in the journal header ledger name uh, enter the currency uh, rule evaluation uh, again also descriptive flex field conversion rate or journal line i have account combination i have entered the currency accounted debit whatever for example if i entered journal batch total accounted debit once i click here so i will put here operations operation means like more than 1000 more than 1000 uh, less than uh, 5000 uh, not equal uh, zero uh, whatever so all of this is applicable here again you can add another yes uh, this journal total batch is uh, for example more than uh, 50,000 and another option created by uh, Muhammad Salah uh, you can also create uh, descriptive flex field attribute one uh, batch name must be in uh, journal batch so all of this is applicable whatever is amount whatever is operations whatever is created by specific users whatever is batch name journal batch blah 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 this is for journal batch what about journal header the same uh, the currency uh, the ledger name must be uh, one two three four for example uh, is there any ledger id or not a ledger id type here how to get the ledger id it's not no need to go to back end to check or to set with technical to bring the ledger id a simple way you have to go to setup under maintenance and manage or primary primary ledger manage primary ledgers manage just view columns here ledger id that's it it will give you what is the ledger id name you can take this and as a copy and go to here and the ledger id uh, in uh, this ledger id so my rules will be only applicable for un in for this only ledger id type for the others you have to mention for example not in in not in whatever the condition is there i hope now you got what is how to mention the conditions how to mention the created by how to what is the rule block you can delete you can add more you can uh, whatever the conditions you have you have to apply it here 
what is the start approval to approval what is the rule priority and what is your conditions depends on which attributes you will apply your conditions again you can come here to define this is for a group uh, a group of people a group of people so i have to come here and i will set uh, first responder and come here to the group and select my group this group must be exist in bbm and here i can come and select مثلا ceo user and put here user and it will give you what is the username here the same group or rule here مثلا ميشيل this is the exist user in defined in the oracle after that this is i defined خلاص now first of all first approval once the supervisor depends here supervisor of creator manager of creator take action as approved it will send it for a list of group this group first responder take action as approved it will send directly to the users who is the users michelle user once michelle takes action is approval or not approved journal status will be changed to approved let's continue in our presentation what else this is a voting rule just come back to my show you business case or a business scenario this is my business case i create three block names one two three first of all i make a manager of journal creator the top approval i put my name the exact exist or exact username defined in oracle cloud after that i put the rule priority all of them is medium 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 this is default by oracle then i will put i bought ledger id ledger id is that in my business case i have for example 10 ledger I need to apply this approval for nine ledgers but for the last ledger as a 10 ledger I need the system to auto approve the journal direct without any submitter manager of submitter or manager of creator so i mentioned here that the ledger id so which ledger id you don't need to apply the supervisor hierarchy routing on it this ledger id but oracle required you if you put here not in ledger id batch name you have to create another line for this specific ledger to tell the system in case of the users create a journal gv for this ledger what the system will do because first once we upload this it will it give us errors that what is the status of this ledger so in this case we downloaded again the spreadsheet and make a new line as a auto approve auto approve means once the submitter or the creator of this journal in this specific ledger create a gv in this ledger it will not send to the creator the manager creator or submitter creator it will like approval then it will go to first or the second level of the approval direct without go to the supervisor hierarchy so second level in our journal approver we make a group people like three or four or five people all of these five people will receive a notification all of them at the all at the same time one of them take action it will be go to the second 
or the third as a final approval level here for specific users this is specific users I bought it here like Andrew blah 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 so for the group first responder what is the group you have to define this approval group in BBM once you define in approval group you can bring or put the same approval group which you defined in BBM here and priority is medium medium last or final approval level we put a specific user as a CFO or CEO this is the username of Andrew so the Andrew login to the Oracle by this email I put it here so the first level is manager of journal approval then it will go to this a group of users then it will the final level of Andrew this is actual business case in my organizations in your organizations you can have a specific the same you have you maybe have one only root block two three ten your conditions may be different and whatever you have a three level of conditions either header line journal batch uh, header or line and patch patch header and line i hope now now you got some of concepts some of this journal approval rule this is actual business case in my organization after that after you define you just came here to generate the rule file once you generate the rule files it will download it in your desktop directly after that you can come back to the manage workflow to upload it in whatever the specific modules either gl or whatever again once you if you downloaded this you just again the upload and the system will ask you which where is your file select your file whatever you say uh, defined where then upload it once you upload it system status just came here to refresh to check the status either successful or error so this how to download how to define what is the rule approval routing what is the conditions is there what is the block name how to upload it and check the status if we continue last thing here how to set up a voting rule in journal approval spreadsheet for example if you have three out of six approval of nine approval of whatever approve the journal this journal approval must be is approved first of all you have to define approval group in BBM approval group is direct definitions like you see here I define demo on manager A, B, C, D, blah, blah, blah. And this approval group you will mention in the routing rule. Here you have to create approval group. Create approval group with X approval, 6 approval, 7, whatever. And how to set up? Just set up financial application extensions and manage approval group in the BBM. First of all, once you download this spreadsheet, you have to enable the voting. Just view additional setting, voting outcome properties. Just click on it. You will find and just close. You will find some of voting appear here. Vote outcome, vote percentage, default outcome, default trigger. After that. What is the approval routing as we discussed before that approval routing here is a group of people what is your approval whatever you defined in the approval group what is the vote, uh, the vote outcome it must be approved it's just unprotect review unprotect uh, password okay no problem whatever you have to select it what is the what is the last status of the what outcome it must be approved what is the vote percentage if you have 
for example six people what is the vote approval percentage 60 70 whatever you want i will put here 70 or 80 what is the default outcome default outcome depends on this 60 or 70 it must be for example i say 60 percent for example here 60 here it must be approved here 60 I will bring for example I said 60 percent here I will said it must be approved once it got approval of 60 percent of the people in my approval group it must be approved else it must be reject and the outcome trigger you can make it immediate so this is the voting that first you have to define or enable voting outcome you have to define approval group in your PBM approval routing will be group in parallel or serial or whatever but it must be in parallel because parallel means all of the approvals will receive at the same time the same notifications and the voting will be start depends on the percentage you put it here either 60 70 80 whatever of people in this approval group must be approved else it will be reject thanks for watching i hope now to get the concept of workflow rules through spreadsheets also you got actual business case you got what is the conditions you got how to create what is the rule block means what is the approval routing what is the sequence what is the priority where the conditions how many level of the conditions you have batch linear header and line how to enable voting in a spreadsheet thanks